a hoe, use a hoe, silent hoe. When you call this phone, did it What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Avis. Let me adjust this. Because this is going to be some tea time, baby. Okay? Anywho, welcome back to my channel. Um, you already saw the title, so it's kind of going to be kind of a rant video. And I'm going to have a couple of clips in here. Now, a couple of you ladies have already know, like a, like a couple of weeks ago, an incident happened on my husband, um, Instagram. <laughs> and yeah, it went down in the DM. But what she did not realize, the bitch was talking to me the whole time and not my husband. But anyway, this video is going to be about bitches, how they cannot respect your man, your marriage, your spouse. If you're gay, your girl. You know, just these side hoes that are comfortable being fucking side hoes. Okay, but she clearly did not know that you had the wrong man to fuck with. Okay, so let's just get into the story, okay? Because it's not a story time. It's going to be, be a conversation and we're going to converse. We're going to talk. Y'all going to comment in the comment section. And we're going to let's get it, okay? Now, first and foremost, the girl had, um... And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, I'm kind of gonna sit right here to the side a little bit because I'm gonna put the um, pictures here because I screenshot everything from her uh, saying all this stuff um, to her, um, try to sell her pancake booty to him. Baby, he already got a bazonk bazonk right here. I'm a plus size boo, but this ass is junk, just, just don't get crazy. Okay? Now, anywho, girls, let me tell you, um, so, she decided to take upon herself to inbox my husband to tell him about how good he looked and then, like, how sexy he is and blah, blah, blah. And then, um, don't tell your wife. But, bitch, you don't know you talking to the wife. You don't know that I'm talking to you as him. Okay? So, this went on for, like, two days. Okay? And on day two, I decided to send her a video of him. But the video of him was me talking. Okay? I was like, so you thought you was talking to him? But bitch, you was actually talking to me the whole entire time. And he did not write not one fucking syllable to your ass. And for that, I'm going to blast your ass all over social media. And that's what I did. I screenshotted all her shit. Because the thing is, she told me she had a husband. Let her go see if her husband had left yet so she could talk to my man. But bitch, no. You wasn't talking to my man. You were talking to me. Okay? So I screenshotted her ass, boo-boo. And I put her on my Instagram. Both of my Instagrams. Okay, I put her on my husband Instagram. I put her on my Facebook. And guess what they did? They shared her pictures all over social media. So I hoped her husband, if she actually has one with her tired ass, see it. Now the thing about it, she was not an ugly girl. That's the thing. She was not an ugly girl. And I get props and props do. I'm not a hating ass chick. If a, if a woman is beautiful, she's going to be beautiful whether I don't like her or not. You're still going to be beautiful. But the inside, you are thought. You a whore. You a slut. You a mutt. You a trick. You a bitch. You are whatever I can think of at that time. But she's a pretty red woman just like myself. She had like a nursing outfit on. So she could have been like a RN, CNA, whatever. You know? So, but um, the bottom line is... The bottom line is I cannot stand women who are comfortable being side chicks. Like, what do you get out of being a side chick besides, I mean, well, not with my man, but what do you get out of being a side chick besides some dick? Answer that for me. Please just go ahead and write that real fast. Write that while we comment. i wait. Okay, I hope you're done. But, what do you get out of being a side chick besides some dick? Do you get coins? The, are, is these niggas caking you? And the thing I hate about the guys is if you, I mean, why, why, why would, if you, won't you just go ahead and just end the relationship? Stop dragging the wife or the girlfriend along and fucking with her feelings, you know, making it bad for the next dude. And just be with this bum ass bitch. But you know why you won't do that? Because you know you got a fucking good girl. Okay? Because you want your cake and eat it too. You want to be fucking wifey. You want wifey to be cooking for you. If you got your fuck broke ass got a job. You want wifey to be cooking for you. If she's wifey. And if you are actually wifey or your girlfriend. And another thing about girlfriends. 
Don't play the wifey position if you're just a girlfriend. Don't be having his fucking meals, this. If he ain't locked you down and gave your ring, no, sir, you do not get the wifey duties. Okay? I learned that, baby. You have to earn that. Just like I told my husband today. Um, I always told him, like joking around, but seriously, real shit, like I have told y'all in, in the past before. And it's probably these side holes like this, too. Okay? Don't shit come for free. Not even pussy. Okay? That's not free. I'm your wife, but guess what? We fucking for you can get me a new house. I love him and all. I mean, because he's my life. <sighs> he is. I've been with Rome since I was 15. <laughs> but boo-boo, you ain't fucking your wife for free. I mean, we fucking because I love you and I like daddy dick and all. But no, I want me a fucking bigger house. And that's what we're working towards. Now, it, like I said, we, we are, we are working towards. But you are the king of this council, okay? You're big daddy. You're the boss. You're supposed to be the boss. I mean, I reign supreme and all that shit. I know I'm the boss, bitch, but uh, whatever. But when I want him to play his role, I sit the fuck back and let him play his role. Now, i am always been an aggressive type chick. i am always been the one to hit first, ask questions later type chick. But he's the calm to my storm. You get what I'm saying? But let's get off topic. Let's get back to the hoes. Because that's what the video is about. It's the hoes. Now I know a lot of you guys, girls on here that are my subscribers. And I don't give a fuck if you get mad. Because the truth hurt. Why would you fuck a married man? Why would you fuck with a dude that even got a girl? Even if he decides he want to step out on her. You should be the bigger the bigger woman to say no because karma is a bitch. The same way she fell in love with him and he probably was a good man at the time and he want to fall back and do this and this and this because I know people that do shit, you know? And I, I grew up around boys. I used my, oh, my homeboys, I mean, it's all I hung around was dudes from growing up. I, my, my brothers, I watched them do shit. I mean, I even I used to do the shit back then. You know what I mean? Because, like, the stereotypical thing they say, oh, a guy can fuck a girl and leave her, he the boss, this and this and this. But if a girl do the same thing, fuck a dude or whatever, and then, um, she leave him or she fuck around, she's a hoe. Well, bitch, I guess I'm that hoe then. But I'm not locked down, though. This was back then. Okay? But you don't fuck with a married man. Because, bitch, that's one, that is one way, bitch. I will have to go on my motherfucking bed and show you what this bitch is about. Okay? I ain't got time to fight. Bitch, I want to bust your fucking head open. Okay? With some lead. Don't ever compromise. Now, the only reason why I wasn't mad at, I, I, I was quite flattering, is because she was far away. Now, if she was locally, I would have pulled up to the bitch house. Okay? Because I am that one to pull up to a bitch house. Okay, come outside, ho. If you don't come outside, I'm coming up in your house. Now, hold on for a minute, because I feel my wig sl sliding back. We good. Now, let's get back on track. <laughs> yeah, back on track. Um, So, yes, ma'am, baby. <sighs> don't fuck with people, like, because it's a lot, it's a lot of, it's a, a lot of ways. I saw a lot of women get their ass whooped like that. And I have saw a lot of women who's comfortable playing a position as a side chick. Because, like, what is the purpose of being a side chick? Again, like I keep saying, what do you get out of being a side chick? Let me get this hair together because I just can't get this thing. I don't know. But what is the purpose of you being a side chick? Like, what do you like about it? Besides, what? The dick? So he actually give you money. I mean, some guys probably do get their side chicks money, you know. But we're, we're rather for you to cheat on your wife or the girl that you say you love or your brother fucking baby mama, bitch. <sighs> no baby mamas get crazy because, bitch, I know I get crazy. But even though he is my husband, I still get crazy. I get crazy if he speak to a bitch. I don't give a damn y'all was friends in high school. She probably wouldn't suck your dick then. I said it last night. I said, that wrong, that bitch wants you. She wants you. Hey, everybody don't fucking want me. I don't care. She shouldn't be looking that hard. Then I feel like then she might just want you. If you look more than three seconds, you want him, bitch. You want him. You want him. You want the dick. But you won't get that one. That's on lock. You know, 
But you like you got you ladies. Just I mean, it's so much shit I want to say, but I it just <laughs> you know how you want to say some shit, but it's just not coming out. This is what's going on with me because my pressure it just rises up. I'm gonna try to put as many clips in this video as I can of my old girl what she said because she's talking about oh don't tell your wife your wife ain't got to know bitch and those type of hoes I can't fucking stand and that's the reason why I be wanting to fight hoes all the time because the point is you know they got a fucking girl you know they got a wife but you still disrespect that bitch because you want to fucking fuck her nigga even though you know about her then the bitch got the death to say your right your wife is pretty and shit like that I'm not gonna fuck that I'm pretty bitch I know I'm pretty okay I know I'm pretty <laughs> do y'all understand what I'm saying she giving your fucking wife compliments she telling me how good you look. Stop being scary. This ain't no game. I ain't trying to trick you. I don't want no drama. No strings attached. Bitch. Bitch. If you just happen to be here in Florida. That I can drive to your house. You gonna be showing your fucking face for a couple of months. Bitch you probably want to probably cut the bitch face with a razor blade. For so you can learn your fucking lesson. Don't fuck with nobody man. Especially a fucking married man. Okay, and I got four kids. You think he gonna really try to up and leave me? And if he was to try, bitch, I would slit his fucking throat. Don't try me. Hoes like that give bitches a bad fucking name. It make it so hard for the good women out here. Cause especially when you know you trying your damn hardest in your relationship to keep your marriage together. And you got some random bitch. Now, nah, this bitch have happened to be pretty. Tempted him, the fucking devil. Tempting him, trying to cheat on him, just fucking trying to cheat on his wife. <sighs> Why wouldn't you whoop her ass? People always say, you me fighting over no nigga, no bitch. I'm not fighting over a nigga. I'm not fighting over no dude. I'm fighting because this bitch disrespected me. She knew about me. She knew about me. And you going to take it upon yourself and talk about me to my man. And the one thing about the dudes, girls, I bet you only do so much what a nigga let them do. You get what I'm saying? The guy lets them do it. The first time she called your girl or her name, whether he creeping or not, that's your motherfucking place to say, watch your fucking mouth. Don't talk about my fucking wife or whatever. You know what I mean? If you are going to cheat, really respect that bitch enough for her name. Don't talk about her. Okay? It's going to be me and you at for the next 30 minutes. Don't bring her up. Don't say shit negative about her. You know... Check these fucking hoes, even your friends. My man is not allowed to have female friends. He's not. Period. I don't talk to niggas on the phone. And he ain't even talk to bitches on the phone. Your friend is my friend. Hey, friend. Me and my homegirl were just talking the other day. I cannot stand a bitch when we see in the public and we out on about and the girl be like, hey, friend. Bitch ain't no friend. I know what friend mean. Ain't no friend. Ain't no damn friend. You ain't mean you ain't friends, so you and him ain't friends. Ain't no friend. And and Raw me tell me to this day. The, uh my friend girls don't even speak to me from school. Cause they say they know how fucking crazy you are. No, I'm not crazy, but bitch. Listen. It's a way you say hey. And the way another way you say hey. No, bitch. When you speak to him, like you just say, hey Rom. Hey Rom. You rush that shit. Hey Rom. Cause I hear that hey. Last more than 1.5 seconds, I'm finna be giving you that motherfucking unit, bitch. Like, what? I don't play. I don't even fuck off. But, girls, write your comments below. Have y'all ever been tried by these little pussy girls that's trying to, like, flirt with your husband or your man or whatever? Or you have actually had an incident you had to run up on a bitch about your husband or these whole disrespecting your marriage and your relationship? Let me know. Comment below. Let your girl know. I'll see you next video. You want more videos like this? You already know to do a thumbs up video up, video up, comment, share, and I'll see it. We'll keep the ball rolling. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.